probably a lot of charge spots, uh, charge traps here and there. It's a kind of localized charge spots, right? So when the electron goes through, graphene is sitting on the close by, then scattered by the, all these localized charge spots, right? Nice thing about the boron nitride is it's a, the layered materials, all the chemical bond is within the layer. The surface is simply Van der Waals force, right? So ideal to the, uh, the boron nitride crystal, basically there is no charge traps I can imagine to there, right? So using the high quality boron nitride is therefore important such that there is a minimizer charge traps. And once you have this, uh, the boron nitride with the Van der Waals surface, that usually serves as a really ideal substrate for the graphene. And uh, not only the substrate, but also when we put the, the gate on the top, we need dielectric layers. And there again, the boron nitride serves as a nice thing. So that's why the encapsulation actually uh, gives such a high quality. Right. Actually, the best quality of the graphene sample appears when you suspend the graphene in the vacuum. Right. But then vacuum is very difficult to deal with, make the device. That's why that we want to have something close to vacuum, and boron nitride is very close. Yeah. Sort of a related question. I mean, you sort of talked about boron or nitride as being this ideal dielectric. Yeah. Um, has this properties been measured at microwave and other uh, Yes, I think um, there are quite a bit of measurement. Uh, especially microwave quantity, I'm not sure, but I think it shouldn't be too bad. Because it is, it is a really large gap semiconductors. You can, you can think about it in that way. And that charge trap concentration is really low uh, if you go to the uh, uh, really high quality single crystal. So people are thinking about just using that as a just tunneling barrier. I think especially qubit type of the language, yeah. can we actually replace that as aluminum oxide and uh, boron nitride? So there are some, some discussions, some tries there. Um, I don't think it was kind of yet the fantastically useful for the quant qubits, but certainly there are some of the ideas hanging around. I think it's initial stages. But certainly as it go for the two-dimensional system, a boron nitride survey is an extremely good tunnel barrier. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a seven, close to seven electron volt uh, Yeah, so six or seven electron volt of the large gaps, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, can I ask another question? Sure. <laughs> this is in one of the last slides. Yeah. Where you were showing this palm probe measurements. Yeah. So there the time scale that you use microsecond or something? Uh, let's see. Yes, because they are long lived, we have to we have to do the palm probe in the long time. I yeah, you're right. Uh, Yes, that's right. So I think it's in, once you get into interlay extents, their, their lifetime becomes quite long. So you have to go to the slightly different techniques. I think you, you mentioned something like yeah, this, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the microsecond levels of this, yeah. So, uh, okay. I mean, you have shown that this, this peaks that in the next slide, uh, I didn't get it. Yeah, here, here. yeah. So this, uh, uh, <coughs> this uh, left color one. Red color. So, middle Oh, you mean the uh, in this plot? Yeah, in this plot. Maybe. Yeah. Where is my? Uh, huh? It's on your back. Remove your sweater. It's under your sweater, I guess. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. So. Oh. Yeah, what is, what is the x -axis? Oh, this one is basically along the x-axis. So that I want kind of okay, so th there is no time to explain all the details, but basically you see that there is spatial inhomogeneities. And that's kind of traps there, right? So I want to show that that is a really trap site. And somehow if you go into trap site, your lifetime becomes longer. So that's basically this plot is trying to tell you. The yeah. second question is yeah. so here uh, you have looked at mostly all the spatial Aspects, Correct. But uh, is there any band structure mapping? Uh, I mean, uh, matching needs to be there between the two layers, like the direct band layer. I mean, um, equivalence needs to be. Right. So I think there are many parameters one can tune, but one thing actually close to what you are asking is this one, right? Um, I think I showed you earlier. So this is a lifetime. But as a function of the electric field, we are just kind of, we just kind of make this basically to uh, uh, the shift is basically uh, making, let's say, that uh, going uh, like, uh, like this, right? So uh, 
if I just shift this band alignment, right, the lifetime is longer. And the way that I can think about is basically if you have the electron holes there, applying the electric field, I'm just kind of put the electron in this side, hold it on the other side, right, by the gate voltages. And then there, you just decrease the overlap between the electron holes, uh, wave functions, and they, their lifetime increases. And that's basically the trend we are seeing. Sweet distance between uh, which there will be an excitonic correlation, right? Yeah. So suppose I have a trial in which uh, I have a collision rate A and B and, and between right. B and C. Yeah. So now that distance uh, is doubled, uh, the collision is uh, distance is doubled. So yeah. in this way, can we go uh, make a long range correlation? Is that a right? I think that's a very interesting, uh, intriguing question. I don't know whether I have the answers or the expe even expectation immediately, but uh, certainly it can be quite an intriguing system if you have the three layers and create the axons in the pointing in that direction, the axons pointing in that direction, and then how they actually correlate it, right? I think these are kind of really intriguing, intriguing questions uh, need to be explored. Right. Uh, important part is technologically now. I think we are in the uh, we are almost ready to just kind of make those kind of devices. So it's not only just kind of uh, the uh, imaginative uh, academic questions, but it can be actually do, can be done in the lab. I think that's that's the exciting part. But certainly that's actually very intriguing uh, proposal. I would say, yeah. There are no more questions. Thank you very much.